guys i'm selling almost all useful skins in the game uh, i sold purple wings aqua warrior violet phantom violet wool uh, that halo items sandstorm teleports i'm selling everything in the new at packet cheaper less than 150 dollar price i have a lot of skins less than 150 dollar price and i have expensive ones too so you can just contact me through the telegram i'm providing everything line id gmail telegram in the description you can just check it out i'm also selling packs at 20 percentage discount hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm here with my predictions and i have some uh, inner thoughts regarding this hero uh, this is a brand new hero in this season um, that is ghost hand miles but uh, you know when we look on the two new heroes that they introduced in this season both are vehicle and one more thing i'm thinking like i think i think i think they're planning to give a powerful hero combo i mean particularly vehicle hero combo uh, which will include humphrey or warrant officer so i think warrant officer will be included in the combo uh, combo of these two heroes that is uh, ghost hand miles and natalia okay then uh, we can expect humphrey or warrant officer in the third row or yeah third row so anyway when we look on the special skills of ghost hand miles we can clearly see they just introduced they just introduced some new things new effects called sand storm status so this is gonna be the big discussion today because um this is a new stuff um just like um we have some new kind of shield energy something in the super killer grace so they introduce sandstorm here so what they mean from that is we can just read the comeback skills of miles then we'll get a better idea uh on what actually is this sandstorm status so basically it is nothing like um some damage reduction and some damage taken effects and we will get a huge impact on the on the you know what we can say in the battle uh, if if these skills works nicely in the battle only if it works okay because uh, when we got war officer we think we thought like uh, this is gonna be a beast but it didn't work well in the battle uh, at that time but um, after these two new heroes anything will happen because we already know that we already know about the tuner cyclone uh, nightingale combo that is still one of the best combo in the game so anyway uh, let's uh, you know uh, let's discuss about what they written here okay so first of all we have a comeback skill called ghost hand trick so what they mean is chance to deal heavy damage to two random enemies score and a possibility to subject them to a sandstorm state so there, there is one particular skill which will be activated in the battle and that will give a huge damage to two random enemy score and put them into sandstorm status so that's the first skill that is going to be activated in the game from this hero and after that it will last for the next two rounds so for the for the next two rounds or i mean sorry it will last for the one more round i mean that round and the second round that will be like that uh, and f f uh, on 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 those enemy scores uh, you know if if they are in that sandstorm sandstorm status they will cause uh, you know causes damage and 
uh, reduces hit rate so simply it will take more damage from us and their power will be reduced and the second thing second combat skill is strong sandstorm so in the first one we we just introduced sandstorm effect to two random enemies called in the second combat combat skill what we are gonna do is chances to deal heavy damage to one random enemy score so here we are only only doing heavy damage to one score at a time and if the target is subject to the sandstorm status a percentage of weakened damage mitigation will be applied to it additionally so simply um, with a chance to stop it from launching a counter attack so uh, if the second combat skill is activated um, that will give a huge damage to one random enemy score on the same time if that particular target is in sandstorm status from the first combat skill then what will happen is a percentage of weakened damage mitigation will be applied on that hero score enemy score that will close, that will stop it from a counter attacks so the, the the random enemy score will be freezed he he or that score cannot do a counter attack on us that's it but there's a loophole that i'm seeing something crazy that we need to hit the exact sandstorm status activated hero score so we must uh, you know um you know uh, the first combat skill must um, activate or implement this effect sandstorm status on two, uh, into two enemy score then the second skill will if the second skill is applied on one of those sandstorm status enabled score then only this particular strong sandstorm will be activated. I mean, the weaker mitigation will be applied. So that's it. It is simple. And more, more damage is predicted there. But uh, if it is not happening, like if the um, hero skills are not working well, then this hero will be a flop. That's it. So when we talk about the third skill, when the other two score, that means our friendly scores uh, launch a normal attack and happens to hit the target subject to science of status. So from the first two uh, combat skills, uh, there will be a chance to, uh, you know, um, put the enemy score into sandstorm status that we understand. And, uh, understood. and uh, now if the... Uh, if if other two friendly score um, did some normal attack and if they did a attack on the sandstorm affected troops in the enemy side then that that's going to trigger this strong sandstorm effect and gain one layer of shield that that can offset some of the damage uh, now we can discuss about the recommended reconstruction skills the reconstruction side i prefer skill damage damage and uh, might because uh, this hero have a great combat skills with huge damage mm -hmm. and the flex ability i will prefer fight on uh, for him or you can use skill damage defensive attack 